Good morning from Clinton, Pennsylvania. Turning on to Clinton Road in Clinton, Pennsylvania. I don't know if I trust this road. Continue 1.4 kilometers, then turn left onto I-376 East. Okay. So we're starting our day here. It's gonna be a day of running around. I'm gonna try to get three more drops off. I just finished my first one this morning. I'm gonna try to get three more done today yet. And then I think I got four to do tomorrow as well. Maybe one on Friday, depending on how well things go tomorrow. This first delivery took two hours longer than I thought it would, so not off to the best start. All right, just arriving here in Pittsburgh for my second drop. Oh, I've only got like a few boxes going here, so it only should be like 10 minutes in and out. Looks like an older part of the city. It's an older part of the country, so it would make sense. I gotta get into... Turn left onto US 19 North, then keep lane right. There. Like, look at that house on the right there. That is amazing. A little bit of work... And <coughs> a little bit of work in these houses here would look brand new again. Turn left on Beaver Avenue. Imagine, then turn right. imagine the history behind this area when the settlers came and built it. Oh man, I love that. I love, this is my favorite part of traveling. My favorite part. Turn right on North Franklin Street. Well, we got that delivery done and now we're just about to drive through downtown Pittsburgh by the looks of it. Keep our eyes open for Sidney Crosby. I went the wrong way on I-376, so we gotta go back through the tunnel. I turned onto I-376 West by accident. So we're going back through here on I-376 East. I was gonna film all the lane divers, but as soon as I turn my camera on, nobody feels like lane diving anymore. So a unique turn of events. I'm at my third stop now. I was supposed to get four done today. Notice how I said I was supposed to. The first delivery I had took much longer than expected, remember? So, what's rattling over there? Diesel, what's rattling over there? The first drop took longer, so now I'm behind and I'm not going to get to my fourth drop today before they close. They close at three and I'll be arriving at 5.30. So, a considerable amount of time late. I didn't schedule my delivery appointments on here. Uh, I may have given myself a little bit extra time seeing as my first delivery was pretty big. You know, if it would have gone smoothly and if the, they would have been a little more organized, maybe I could have gotten out of there faster, but it is the way it is. It just took longer than we expected. It happens. 
So I'm waiting for word back to find out what to do now. Like, what do I do? Do I uh, sit around till tomorrow morning, or are they able to stay later? I'm gonna wait for dispatch to get me a call back, and then they'll probably tell me to get a hold of the customer. I'm guessing. I'm trying to get a hold. Of I'm tired. I just want to go and sleep. Diesel, wouldn't that be nice? Shouldn't we just go and sleep? Oh yeah. Oh, that was a good nap. That was a good nap. Oh, don't you just love now? Oh, I look like I've been napping. Well, I'm gonna wake myself up here. Uh, I've still got time. I wanna go down the road another two and a half hours or so. We're two and three quarter hours away from our destination that we gotta deliver to in the morning. We we're supposed to be there today. Well, we we're scheduled to be there today, but seeing as the, all my drops this morning took so long, it got bumped to tomorrow morning. So I got more to do tomorrow now goodie but that's the thing about having these multi-drop loads like everybody obviously they want to know when you're gonna be there right like they want a specific time and an appointment when you're gonna be there but when you have eight deliveries and everybody has a different system of unloading and checking it and scanning your product in it's very very hard to tell when you're going to be there they're like all right we're stop number five I'd like a time and date right down to the minute of when you're gonna be here Next Tuesday at 3.27. I don't know. We'll take our, our, our best guess and we'll go with that. Uh, educated guess, because usually you know how long these things take after a while of doing them, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles there. And now I want a cookie. Diesel, you want a cookie too? Yeah, I thought you would. Walking weasel. Walking a weasel. Diesel, we're gonna go to the grass, okay? Don't pee on the asphalt. That's silly. Then the sun heats it up tomorrow and it stinks. Look at this. Oh, wow, look at this. They have a big fenced-in area over here on a little gate. Diesel, you wanna run around without a leash? I'm gonna mark this gate first. This whole area is mine now. I see that. I see that. Well, this place is fenced in. So, Diesel? You're gonna stay out of the water, right? You're gonna stay out of the water. All right, now, don't do anything stupid that I wouldn't do, okay? Okay, one second here. Okay, go have fun. Have fun, or just sniff the grass. Okay, sure, yeah, that's why we came here, to sniff the grass. There he goes. There he goes, he figured it out, he can run. All right, there you go. Let's go see what they all got out here, eh? Beautiful, natural little area here. Oh yeah, okay, so the fence goes around back here. See that? I was around here. I wonder what this area... Oh, it's fenced in because of their lagoon there. They probably don't want you falling in there and drowning in their poop. I see. These are we're going to stay away from the poop pond, okay? I'm going to go take a gander at it anyway. We're going to stay out of it. Maybe we won't stay away from it, but we'll stay out of it. There it is. I know, the highlight of the vlog. Wow, I'm glad he showed the poop water. I know. I heard your cries. I knew, it. I knew you'd want to see it. I knew. I don't think it's actual poop water it's just their lagoon or the water hole that you don't swim in and that you don't drink from whatever you want to call it wonder why they need such a big area fenced off just for that though eh? this whole stinking area is all fenced in you could have made more parking out of this maybe they left it like this so dogs could run around eh? that's what I'm that's what I'm taking it as you left the gate open that means dogs are supposed to run around in here Hey, we need to groom you, Diesel. We need to, we need to brush your hairy butt, man. You're losing hair. All right, let's get out of here. Let's see if we can get around this guy who is parked here illegally. Shouldn't be a problem. He's not that much in the way. There we go. Okay, back on the highway. Another couple of hours to go. It's amazing how much a nap can do for your day sometimes. Do I sound old when I say that? Naps are awesome. You need to get a truck wash sometime yet too. Here we go. And another tunnel up ahead. It's just been a day of tunnels for us, hasn't it? Being from where I'm from, there's not really any tunnels there, so tunnels, to me, are pretty special. 
I don't know if I have to remind everybody that when you go through the tunnel during the day, don't forget to turn your lights on. I'm still surprised how many new vehicles nowadays apparently don't have that automatic light option. Because you know, on my pickup truck and all Chevy vehicles, you can put your headlights on auto and then when it gets dark, they automatically turn on. Like it's a magical, miracle, miraculous, amazing thing. Yet I see so many drivers that drive like way past dusk with their lights off or drive under like through tunnels with their lights on. It's, I don't know. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, uh, do you have the automatic light option on your vehicle? There's one right there. There he is right there. I mean, it's dark enough outside the tunnel that you should have your lights on anyway, right? I don't even know how much footage I got today. I don't know. The last couple of days have been kind of sketchy with footage and a little bit of lacking thereof of footage. It's just been because I've been in such a rush to get this load done. And I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. I was off uh, doing something else, not driving the truck, driving the pickup for so long. And getting back in the truck, it's just, you know, I've got to get everything in the truck organized. got to get my mind back in the swing of things. It takes a little while for me to, you know, get used to the, the swing of things and whatnot. But we're getting there. We're getting there. What matters most is that uh, these eight deliveries that I have get delivered on time. And that tomorrow goes smoothly. <laughs> I'm so tired. It's late. I've been on Facebook too late again. I parked a little while ago and I was messing around on Facebook. I just had a post like go viral. Posted something uh, a couple of hours ago on there and I guess a lot of people shared it and just boom it exploded. I've been trying to keep up with it all but wow. Wow. You know I just about regained my faith in humanity and then boom that happens and I'm like oh we haven't gotten anywhere. Nope. <laughs> We're still still way down in the gutter. Yeah, we got a long way to go to bring people together. Oh boy. Boy. Hopefully one day we can all live on this planet in peace. Helping each other out. Looking past people's skin color. I got called like it was a, I guess it was a sensitive post. I don't really want to go into it here. But uh it was a sensitive post and I got called racist things that I've never even heard before. I was actually impressed with the creativity of their racism. I was like, wow. That took some serious thought. That's what I don't understand about this world and some of the movements in this world right now which segregate one race from the others. I'll see you tomorrow.